Hello, happy new year. So some back to uni shopping has taken place and I've come up with five different outfits that I'll be wearing to uni. So as always, I will leave the links to the outfits and items in the description box below. So make sure you check that out. So starting off with Monday, I thought best foot forward on a Monday. So I've gone with quite a smart outfit. However, I can wear the jumper and trousers with a pair of trainers and wear that around uni. But then in the evenings, if I've got a networking event or some sort of job thing, then I can always wear it with a nice pair of heels. I realise I don't have many smart clothes in my wardrobe so I thought it would be quite nice to get a good pair of smart trousers. So on to Tuesday I've gone for more of a casual look. I have paired the same jumper uh, from Monday with these dungarees which I really like. Often dungarees can be quite unflattering for certain body shapes but this pair fits really nicely. It's got a pocket in the front and I love pockets and they're nice and very useful. It doesn't look like the weather will be getting much better anytime soon so I paired it with the windbreaker which I thought might be quite nice. It's quite stylish. I also realised at uni I wear my normal dungarees way too often so I thought I might vary it up with a dungaree skirt. Now Wednesdays in the afternoon a lot of people have that free so that they can do sports whereas I don't do sports so I will be spending that time in bed wearing this very fluffy jumper. I paired this with a bright yellow skirt because we have reached the middle of the week so it's semi happy and I also picked up these nice comfy cozy bed socks because I realised I didn't have any so I've paired the socks with the Wednesday outfit because I thought that'd be nice comfy and cozy it's kind of like you're wearing a blanket and it has a hood too I have a great dressing gown but I don't think I could go outside to the shops in it but I could go out in this jumper and not be stared at too much moving on to my favorite day of the week which is Thursday I have created this little bright sunshine outfit because it's a nice happy day you've made it over halfway and good things always tend to happen on a Thursday so the skirt is corduroy material and it's got pockets and I thought it went nice with the stripes. It's long sleeves, it's tight fitting. All round very happy with that. It's slightly summery, but maybe that's a good transition into the warmer weather when it finally comes. Now moving on to the final day, which is Friday. This outfit is my sister's favorite because she's a big fan of the sunflower t-shirt. It's quite cool because it's like a crop top, but then you can cinch it in at the waist by pulling the strings. Again, I paired that with the same yellow skirt and not the knee high black boots this time, but some more casual Puma black suede trainers. To be honest, I'd wear both shoes anyway. It's quite a casual outfit, but that's fine because casual Fridays. What I really like about that top is that the sleeves are really long as well because I like to either roll them up or have really long sleeves. Shopping online comes with its risks. It can be quite daunting and there are often some bad items that come with the order, but that should not stop you shopping online. Um, but I thought I'd show them to you anyway, just for the laughs. So you can see me wearing, for example, this shirt. From far away, it actually doesn't look bad. I like the colours of it and I do like a smart shirt now and then. However, the material is kind of gross and the seams of this aren't also very good. They're kind of coming apart already. The other thing that I needed was a coat. So I thought I'd pick up a puffer jacket. Now I'm going to give this to my sister because while she's ice skating, I thought this might be quite good protection. If she falls over onto the ice, then she's got a lot of padding. Um, this is way too big for me. I love the colour. I like the pockets. Hood's useful, but it's way too big. I look like a walking marshmallow in it. So I'm not going to keep that one. I got this in a medium but it is still huge, so maybe a small would have been good. The thing I do like about this coat is that it's got cuffs, so it comes nicely in at the wrists and stuff, so you shouldn't get cold wearing it. It will definitely keep you warm. Now onto the item that my mum hates the most. The thing with these is that they're just too big. I like the pink, I like the corduroy, and I like trousers, but they're just huge. However, I tried to make it stylish by pairing it with a tighter fitting top if I had the sewing machine skills to cinch in at the waist and then tuck in the bum um, and maybe cut some of the length off the bottoms, they could be great trousers, but I don't have the time. Um, but I thought it looked quite nice with the Timberlands, some hobo chic, but I, I, I won't be keeping these. They weren't the perfect purchase, but it's not that bad because you can return it. It's not hard at all just to send it back and get a refund or you can give it to charity or to a friend. So that's not bad at all. And I've got a week's worth of university outfits. So I'm pretty happy with this shop as a whole. I'm Way. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give it a 
thumbs up. Woohoo! And don't forget to hashtag subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> um, and I'll see you next week for a new video. Have a lovely day. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye. <laughs>